The mid-size sedan segment is heating up to pressure cooker proportions this year, with cars like the Honda Accord and Nissan Altima gunning for your business. But Mazda is right there with them, debuting their 2014 Mazda 6 sedan at the beginning of the year. The car gets the brand's new Kodo design language that we first saw on the Mazda CX-5 crossover. But in this case, it's on the sedan, offering a shorter overall length and slightly longer wheelbase, as well as more handsome proportions, getting rid of the smiling front end that we saw on the previous model, along with giving the body a wider look and sharper angles. But let's get to the breakdown. You'll get one engine option for now, a 2.5-liter Skyactiv four-cylinder that makes 184 horsepower and 185 pound-feet of torque. Expect 26 miles per gallon in the city and 38 miles per gallon on the highway, or about an average combined 30 miles per gallon. Pricing stays close to the previous model, starting at $21,675, including delivery, and runs up to $30,290, also including delivery, for the Grand Touring Gas model. Inside, the car has a much more premium feel, more in line with what you would expect the brand's flagship to be. New standard equipment on the Touring model, which Mazda expects to sell the most of, comes with leatherette and a 5.8-inch infotainment screen as standard equipment. Mazda's Kodo design language carries through the inside of the car and looks a lot like the CX-5. In fact, it's almost identical. An accent bar runs across the dashboard and can come in a rich brown color that complements the lighter leather in the top trim Grand Touring model where it really looks good. You won't get that nice color accent in the lower trim levels, but you will get metal looking bezels around the air vents and the shift knob and a few other places. We weren't in love with the Accord seats when we sat in it, and that's one of the key competitors for this car. They looked outdated, and that's not so much the case here, even in the cloth trim seats, where different accents and different textures make it look acceptable and reasonably modern. On the road and in the corners, the car feels sure-footed. Even being tossed through the twisty windies here in Austin, it's hard to hear any tire squeal, which is impressive. What's more impressive is how smooth and responsive the six-speed automatic transmission is. I'm normally the last guy in the world you'd catch recommending one, but even in first to second gear, it's hard to tell when the car is shifting, except for the fact that you can hear the engine changing. The manual isn't bad either, but it won't get quite the same mileage and actually will be a little bit poorer than the automatic transmission. Most people are going to end up buying the automatic anyway, and in this case, that's definitely a good thing even from a driver's perspective. Now, this is supposed to be a sports sedan, so I know what you're probably thinking. Just a four-cylinder? Where's the V6 option? Mazda decided to get rid of the V6 this year, and right now there's only the 2.5 liter Skyactiv gas engine available. But there is the 2.2 liter diesel engine coming later this year. Performance specifications aren't available quite yet, but when Autoguide had a chance to drive a prototype back in 2011, the car made about 165 horsepower and 340 pound-feet of torque at only 2,000 RPM. That paired with a low compression ratio means that the engine can rev out close to what you would expect a gasoline engine to do. Earlier today, Mazda told us that it expects the most cross-shop vehicles against this car to be the Nissan Altima and the Honda Accord. After a day-long test drive going through the hills of Austin, Texas that included both the manual and automatic transmissions, I can say with confidence that this car will at very least give some serious competition in the mid-size sedan segment.